Yeah, hi everyone. So in this session we will discuss something about segmentation. Okay. So first of all, what is segmentation? So here in in an operating system, the segmentation is nothing but segmentation is a memory management technique, and what it will do is it will divide the process into number of segments. Hope you are following. A segmentation is nothing but a segmentation is nothing but it will divide a particular process into number of segments. A process is divided into number of parts and each part is called as a segment. Okay. So we have already discussed the paging. So let us suppose this is a process. This process will be divided into number of parts called each part is called as segment so in the previous uh, topics we have seen paging so in paging what happens a process will be divided into a process is divided into number of pages yes or no pages here Segmentation is nothing but a process will be divided into number of uh, parts. We simply call them as segments. Then, in what way the segmentation and paging is different? So, coming to paging, there is a drawback in the paging. What is the drawback? The drawback is nothing but we will see. So, so what is the drawback in paging? So if you see, so what you have discussed, so let us suppose this is a process, okay. So this will be divided into, this will be divided into number of, so all these are pages, okay. Page 0, page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4, page 5, okay. A process is divided into number of pages and each page is of equal size, yes or no? Okay, each page, each page is of equal size or all pages, all pages are of equal size. Okay, so here it don't consider in the user point of view, it don't consider. It considers in the operating system point of view or memory management point of view. Suppose if there is a program, suppose if there is a program and we have number of functions in it. Okay. Let us suppose this is a program which was written in any language like C, C++, Java or anything. Right. So this is the program to be executed. Let us suppose this is the process. Okay. Now what happens in paging? This entire process or program is splitted into equal parts. Suppose if we have written some functions like add function, subtract function, multiply function, division function or square root function like that. If you have written any function, let us suppose you have written a function like uh, square root function. So you have written a program or you have written a function for square root. Okay. So what it will do? So for that uh, square root function, you have written some program. This is the code you have written for square root. But unfortunately, what happens is, this uh, entire process is divided into, entire process is divided into pages, equal pages. So that's why, one page, two pages, three page, four page, five and six pages. Like that it will be divided. Means the square root function will be divided into, see here in this example let us suppose here this is one page, this is one page and this is one page. So this simple square root function is divided into three pages. Okay. So each page we will place in the, where we will place this? In the main memory. In the main memory, this main memory is fitted into frames, yes or no? 
these are frames frame 0, frame 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 see here the entire process is divided into yes the entire process is divided into number of pages and all the pages are of equal size or each page is of equal size and in the main memory the main memory is split into number of frames and all the frames are of equal size and one more thing the size of the size of the size of a page and size of frame are also equal yes or no the size of a page and the size of a frame the size of page and frame both are equal why because this page should fit exactly into this frame yes or no so what we do is for if you want to execute the square root function okay so the square root function is split into three different pages okay three or two different pages we have split a function so we will exactly fit that uh, that page into this frame okay let us suppose this is this is page 4 page 5 page 6 let us suppose so we have kept so page 4 here okay page 4 page 4 here okay and uh, file here and if we execute no if we keep if we insert page 4 and if we execute that page 4 we go we don't get that the square root function will not be executed why because only part of the code is written suppose if we if we load page 5 okay page 5 is nothing but the middle part of the code is page 5 square root function will not be executed similarly page 6 the last part of the square root function there also it will not be executed so that is the main drawback in using paging that is the main drawback in using paging why because the paging now it don't bother about the user with respect to the user point of view it don't bother it bothers about the memory management point of view only okay so here blindly in paging blindly it will split the entire process into number of number of equal pages and those pages will be placed in the frames where the main memory is again split into equal portions called frames and the size of frame and page are one and the same and this page will be kept inside this frame that is the main drawback in paging okay you know to overcome that we are using segmentation in segmentation what happens so the same if you have the same program segmentation what it will do is it will check the segmentation works with respect to the user point of view okay the segmentation is purely for uh, user point of view only so in the entire program now first it will see yes main function is there yes it will be kept as one segment okay so we will see in segmentation So, so in segmentation what it will do is see for example if this is a yeah in segmentation what it will do is it will keep a segment for main function a segment for add function a segment for multiply multiplication function a segment for square root function a segment for subtraction function hmm? like that it will keep uh, a separate function will be divided okay a separate function will be treated as a individual segment because here the size the size of segmentation is variable or it varies the size of a segmentation varies okay there is no fixed size the size will keep on varying that's why there's no problem the size of main function may be different with the size of add function 
the size of square root function is uh, different from the size of multiplication function. You don't mind because uh, the concept of segmentation itself is it uh, divides the given process or a program or a process will be split into number of segments. Each segment is of variable size. Okay, like that. So that is the main advantage of uh, using this. So here what the author is telling is <coughs> The segmentation, the details of the segments will be kept in a table and we call it as segment table. See, we call it as segment table. Okay. And uh, the segmentation, again, the segmentation or the segment consists of two things. One is base and the other is limit. Base and limit. Base is nothing but it specifies the starting address location. Okay. Limit, it specifies the length of the segment. Okay. Right? So, next if you see uh, the translation of logical address into physical address by segment table, we have seen. So, the CPU generates, CPU generates a logical address. This logical address consists of two parts. This logical address consists of two parts. The first part consists of segment number, segment number. Second part consists of offset, offset is nothing but D. Okay, so in the previous uh, case, uh, in paging now we will get page number and offset number. Here segment number, offset number. Don't get confused. Okay, so so uh, we also will have we also will have uh, the segment number is already mapped with mapped with the segment table because the segment table consists of the complete information about all the segments. Okay, so all these we will see with an example. See here, what the author is telling is, the CPU will generate a logical address. As we have discussed, the CPU generates a logical address. CPU generates a logical address. Okay, so this is the logical address. So this is nothing but segment number and offset. Segment number and offset D. Okay, so here what is base and limit? Base and limit is nothing but base is the, base is the starting starting address of this segment 2 limit is nothing but its a size okay so first this is the segment number segment number is 2 segment number 2 okay see segment number is 2 here and offset so we will check whether the offset whether the offset value is less than the limit limit is nothing but size if it is less than the limit okay then what we do then this uh, base, then this base means starting address location will be added with the limit, will be added with the limit, okay. So that will be stored here. See, base address is nothing but starting address location. We will see with this uh, example. So if you see this example, so BA is nothing but basic base address. This is nothing but base address, BA, base address. Okay, size. Okay, basic base address and size. Size is not about limit. Okay, right. So if you see the example, so segment table. For example, if you see uh, segment table here, these are segment numbers: zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. Suppose if you want to specify, see here. So the starting address location. Suppose if you give here, uh, based upon this, we can write this. Or based upon this, we can write this. Suppose. If the starting address location is suppose uh, for uh, 2 it is 1300 1300 okay segment segment number is 2 so yes 2 starting address is 1300 and its a limit is limit size means limit 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 is 200 okay so now what happens Yes, yes, two. Its starting address, starting location is thirteen, and its limit is fifteen, two hundred. The yes sum of no? the size is two hundred. Okay. Similarly, uh, segment four for segment four, the starting address location is fifteen hundred. The size is three hundred. So fifteen hundred. The size is three hundred. Means this is three hundred. This is two hundred. Okay, 
So here what the author is telling is, so we will verify, suppose if the offset value is less than the limit, okay, then we can go for, uh, we can add this and we can store the segment, uh, the segment, particular segment number will be stored in this location. Otherwise, we will enter, it's an invalid address, okay. So this is uh, what happens in uh, segmentation, okay. So segmentation works better than the paging. Okay, so the advantage of segmentation is there is no internal fragmentation. Okay, that's the main advantage of uh, segmentation. Okay, so so we have seen right. With this, we will stop our uh, session. Okay, thank you.